Jill's feeling down, but she really liked the cutesy game poster she saw. Okay, so we need that game poster. Here we go. Cutesy game poster. Poster for some cutesy game about a pink haired witch flying on a broom. Let's take it. Jill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Okay, what's good? Nanakami underwear, AM Township 64, hype! Literally no games. Yeah, because there's a, a console out there that doesn't get many games released for it. Who knew? Alright. Naki's releasing EKDV 186 update. It's just the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth. I literally can't stop touching myself. <laughs> but why is the camo Blu-ray? Okay. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Okay, this... I like porn, you guys. That's complete geek shit here. Alright. Let's check out the augmented eye. Kira Mickey Encore concert announced. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kira Mickey are in for a huge party, all thanks to the announcement of a second concert in Glitch City's Silver Thunder Super Dome. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Tickets are now up. Cool. Maybe she'll visit again. New app proposes increased surveillance. That's never good. Okay. Next. 66 American Kid Returns challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after Challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them are injured in the process. <laughs> okay, so wrestling stuff. Let's just go to work now. Go. It's Thursday. Here we go. Good evening. You okay? Uh, I feel like shit. You sure you should have come in then? You're in all the right to stay at home. Uh, I've got to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So, I'll come here until I die, even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one who looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair's hairy. <laughs> yes, yes it is. Uh, who was the dipshit who changed the order of the glasses? It was me, I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Uh, why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home and rest. Yeah, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her for one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologising for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my left led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw all of that away to be here, so I'm gonna stay. This is what I wanted. This is what I left all of that behind. This is why... See, you started to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather have her here than be alone in the apartment. How you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shit-eating piece of shit. <laughs> I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobes look down on me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited. That's good. <laughs> okay, where's the mutt? Working with Kira. Sierra? I don't know. At Kira? I know what I said. In any case... Let Jill process her anger, it's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Fole might be, he's just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone just today? What part of I won't leave didn't you not get? I didn't leave everyone behind just to sit and do nothing. Fine. Uh, what did we do? She lashes out at her client. Uh, that's why you're here, Gillian Police Skin. Who? <laughs> hey Jill, was that a, another Metal Gear Solid reference? I don't know. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, let me know. Uh, okay. Oh, you already put on the music? I totally did. Uh, this is going to be an interesting day. <laughs> the Hall of Heroes keeps shining. Bring with- do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside, never mind. Oh hell no! Oh, this fuck? 
We meet again, bartender. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets make it almost seem like a starry sky. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities are fishy, and my favourite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I, I don't follow you. <laughs> Spell out your order like you're a human who's not in need of medical help. Fine. I want a sparkle star. Sparkle star. Sparkle star for the fucking dipshit. <laughs> Alright, sparkle star. Sweet. And optional cow machine. Yes, fuck this guy up. <laughs> All aged. Mixed. Sparkle star. See? Was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? <laughs> you look angry, spelling bartender. Are you having that time of the month or something? Oh, fucking this guy is a prick. No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain and self-hate and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. <laughs> I'll get those too, you know, periods. You do? <laughs> yep. Last month, I finally got over my renaissance and moved to my enlightenment. <laughs> and here I was, thinking you get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Uh, glaring holes through me will do nothing. I'm glare immune. Uh, <laughs> but if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice... Okay, whatever. It's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned. That actually sounded half sensible. <laughs> and here I was thinking you're just a pompous lunatic. <laughs> hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? Tell me your story. Uh, I'd rather not tell figures. Do you want anything else? Um, have you ever seen how the... what? A bad touch. Bad touch. Sweet, he's cutting the crap and he's actually ordering real drinks now. That's that's pretty good. Okay, Bronson Extract, two Pallet Deltas, two Flannel Guides, four Karma Trains. On the rocks. Blend. Mixed. Mixed. Have a bad touch. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Maybe he's right and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I'd apologised earlier, I might not be feeling this way right now. If only... Oh man, I can't even remember what held me from apologising all these years. Uh, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. <laughs> Pride? Fear? What kept me from going out and apologising to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what feeling kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can't I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Uh, is she okay? Uh, no, but just leave her be for now. Hey Jill. Oh, hey Jill. What's up? Thank God, normal person. <laughs> what, a mummy? Nah, nah, I ain't got no kids. <laughs> uh, still, more normal than this twat. <laughs> How you feeling, say? Uh, my bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Um, I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Uh, I fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. Uh, you look better though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. Yeah, I guess. Um, you're the one who looks like it now though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. <laughs> Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a really bad mood. Anything I can do? Uh, please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? Uh, my tongue's not so sensitive today. Let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. <laughs> I'm fine. I don't need anything. Alright, beers. One, two, one, two, four is the beer. Yeah, let's see if, if there are any other differences from the canned ones. And, uh, it tastes less watered down. So, uh, did something happen? Um, I'm fine, nothing's happened. 
People who are fine don't act like that. Oh yeah, I'll get it. You're in those days. Uh, when is that time of the month? I'll get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. People keep saying this. No. Uh, I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't have come today, after all. <laughs> uh, no, uh... Hmm. Maybe. Um, you okay? Um, I'm trying to find something to say. Um, making the joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be okay without it sounding cheap. I'm, uh, at a loss of what to do here. Sorry. Uh, do you want to hear something weird? I was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday, talking about you. Ah. Oh. oh, ladies, I'm leaving. Virgilio. Yep. You were just sitting with the Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. This will make a good entry in my poems blog. <laughs> I feel bad about the way I treated him today. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Okay, like Stella was when she first came? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, yeah. You could have given him a free beer or something and apologised. Uh, yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. Oh well. But you know, he seemed familiar. Yeah? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Oh well. It might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. Okay, so what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Okay. To be with you, of course. What? <laughs> that reminds me, how did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me, real hard. It totally hurt. <laughs> she said that's for making me worried and not listening to me, and then she became happy. Hmm. Can I ask who's lost you're dealing with? Uh, you shouldn't be bothered about it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood, call it a day. Ah, fine, okay. Uh, you really want to know, don't you? Uh, I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Okay, someone to whom I said mean things to has passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work for you? Yeah, sorry. No, I can't do anything. It helps me calm down, but... Yeah, I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help. It's just... Calm down. I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned there is times where you just can't do anything and it's kind of fine thank god I learned that otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago you're a good person so <laughs> nah I'm just an annoying girl still if there's anything I can do to help let me know I got broken bones but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support you could always order another drink oh yeah let's do that give me something cold okay something with ice What's the drink that's on the rocks? Oh, this one will do. A Cobalt Velvet. So we've got two Edelheids. Da, da, da. Three of them. Five Carmatrines on the rocks mixed. Cobalt Velvet it is. It's pretty cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make me feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What you got? Singing. Hearing people sing helps too. Uh, do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty actually, but they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. <laughs> so you play the harmonica then? Okay. I needed something to do some breathing exercises with, and a harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. And I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin. Right until I was about 16. Really? Can you still play? Uh, the violin's at my mum's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't really forget that easily. Okay, why'd you stop? I don't know, just one day, I felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. <laughs> that, and almost burning my place up. Um, <laughs> when's Stella gonna get here? No, you mentioned it. She's a bit late. Let me call her. You'd do that. I'm going to take my break. Tell Jill if you need anything else. No problem. And there is that break time.